okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn how we can control multiple devices with the help of Arduino in the Proteus so for it first of all you need to take Arduino Uno and if you don't have the Arduino Uno pre-installed in your Proteus you need to go to address library inside the Proteus because Proteus is not offering it that is in the in in build form so you must have to add its library first and then you can make any project with it then you need to take one fan dc fan dc so because fan and lamps are the most important and most common devices inside of our homes also take one LED that is red okay take it and also take one LED green green so press ok here join these two LEDs and the cathode L cathode pins are also connected with each other now you are supposed to take one ground and attach all the all the devices with the ground or the because it is very necessary for any electrical device to have at least one ground for its specific function okay now we know that Arduino microcontroller is a controller with the 13 to 14 digital IOS that is input output pin you can also call them as GP IOS that is general purpose inputs outputs so here we have 13 14 digital pins that starts from 0 and at Z pin number 13 but is Arduino pin is just offering around 200 milliampere to drive a device so we need to take relays relays animated and this relay will actually drive these devices okay do one thing that also change the voltages of relays from 12 volt to 5 volt and also this one from 12 volt to 5 volt and this one from 12 volt to 5 volt now next step is to attach the windings or the coils of the relays with pin number 13 the second relay's winding must be connected with the pin number 12 and the third must be connected with the pin number 11 now also save this project because if the protease is crashed or any other things happen your project must be saved okay now attach the other pins of the winding or other side of the winding with the ground so the relays will perform their action now take DC supply from here or just take power power not DC supply and attach it with the this pin of the relay because it is the normally open pin this and this these two pins are normally closed and when relay is on normally closed will become open and normally open will become closed so here okay now attach this pin with the okay here here we did one problem that LEDs must be connected 
with the ground but their negative side or the cathode side not with the positive or anode side so here okay take it like that teach it like that okay now 13 12 and 11 are our pins 13 11 and 10 okay again we will see that 13 12 and 11 13 12 and 11. okay we we already made a program which declares the 13 pin is output pin 12 pin of arduino is output and 11 is output it also make high 13 pin for four seconds and then make it low make it low for four seconds that is 4000 milliseconds then make 12 volt high for 4000 seconds and then 12 low for four seconds then 11 high for four seconds and 11 for 11 low for four seconds Okay, now copy this link copy this link and just paste it inside your arduino and press ok now we will see that either the arduino will control it properly or not okay now for four seconds our lamp is on and it is closed now for four seconds and after four seconds relay number two will be on relay two is on and our fan is rotating properly now it is off and we will see that either yeah the relay number three is now on and after four seconds it will be off now it is off so this process will repeat again and again so with the help of this you can control the control your devices at specific times with the help of Arduino, I have given the Proteus file and Arduino coding file downloading link in the description. So, thanks for watching this video tutorial.